Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I wanted to make a little video uh, about the tragedy that happened in France and to remind people to not refrain from despair because in my view this is all caused by war profiteering and we've allowed it in our country as Americans we spend more of our tax dollars on the military and it's completely out of control uh, the Pentagon has told our Congress and the Senate they can't balance their budgets they have no idea where the money goes sorry we will we'll inform you when we lose big chunks of money like the billions of dollars they recently disclosed uh, it's completely out of control uh, we are war profiteering we're I, what essentially happens in our country this is why I people have seen me write that our country funds ISIS we have we fund them as our friends without vetting them without really knowing them or knowing that they aren't really I mean what we're saying to them is you let us control your oil, your land, you go by our rules, you change your culture us for uh, us for up and us up for us and you get everything that we have. You get all our weapons. A few people I mean it's war profiteering. It has to end. The subcontracting of war has to end. Um and we need to call our Congress and tell them that. If they want our sons and daughters to go into war, then they think it's justified. Then our sons and daughters go into war. We're not subcontracting with mercenaries again. That's out of the question, in my view. And it ought to be out of the question, in your view. If our congressmen and our senators really believe that, and now we have drone warfare, which really is really insidious, because imagine... A, a drone coming over us and trying to kill somebody who lived two blocks away from me and they blow up my house and your house and everybody's house around here because they're trying to kill that guy that's a block away and they're like oh sorry let's don't count those people that's exactly what's happening with our own military folks and the thing that happened in France as horrible as it is you know I mean <sighs> Honestly, this is the sad part about living in the battered women's culture. Is I honestly have no, my intuition says the story stinks. It's the same old fucking writer, right? The passport's miraculously been found. Oops, we found a finger. Like the family saying the ID was stolen. It's like, really? It's all about war profiteering. Who funds these people? Who gives them? Who helps them? Where does it come from? A lot of these weapons are ours. They come from our networks, the West networks. It's it's got to stop. And we're think you know our country is thinking about sending our sons and daughters to war. I guarantee you. Obama is talking about our people, one world. They're going to ramp up the. Uh, networks make us all feel afraid and just okay you can check us all out make sure none of us are terrorists well i object to having my privacy invaded by war profiteers the nuclear industry is part of the war profiteering this is what got me into this this is why i have to speak out because i did i i actually the only time i ever got politically active in my life really outside of volunteering here and there for a congressman or an assemblyman was when Bush stole the election and the Democrats would not, not one Democrat, not one senator would stand up for the Black Caucus. Not one would stand up and say, we object. That's all it would have taken to save us from the Bush crime family. And look what they did. The Unpatriot Act, boom, the day, 1500 page document. I mean, it is insidious, which is why now they can just roll out the surveillance cameras and do whatever the hell they want right now because these things that they're talking about give them that authority. The Pacific Ocean is being bled into. There's a lot of conversations about it's dying, it's dead. No, it's perfectly fine. No, it's not fine. We have almost five years of three nuclear power plants still melting, pouring at least a hundred thousand gallons, hundred thousand tons of uh, 
radioactive water into the Pacific Ocean every day. Every, every day, you guys. So that's like 68,000 gallons in a ton. So you do the math. It's a lot. So I, I would actually tell you that our planet's in trouble, and we are here on purpose. God put us on this planet right now on purpose to save our planet. We can put pressure on our elected officials and say, look, we need to stop the lies. We need to stop the collusion, the corruption. This is getting serious. Dead whales, two-headed dolphins, the seals are dying, the krill is gone, the anchovies are gone. Birds are falling out of the freaking sky over the Midwest. I mean, <sighs> children in St. Louis have high oncology rates. Why? Because the EPA did not respond to the request by the licensee, the person who owned that waste, to do some cleanup. They said no because the grass is growing. Honestly, these are the people that are our elected officials. We have to do a better job as the American people. You know, we have a constitution that, you know, gives us the right to free speech, the right to bear arms, right to freedom of religion. I mean, we have certain rights, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We have a right to be uninvaded by our government. We've forgotten that, but we, that's in our constitution. We need to get to a place where we demand that out of our government. And I'm not calling for violence in any way because I don't believe in that. And let me speak to the internet violence because since I've been making these videos, and especially since I put out that video about Dana Durmford, I guess I've become their target. Well, if you're on my YouTube channel and you make nasty remarks or correct people's spelling, you know, honestly, in a mean way, it's being deleted, and I will block you. Because I don't need any more barf in my life. I've had enough. And if you don't agree with Kevin Blanche or Dana Durnford or what they've done, and let me tell you what, I know the details. I was intimately involved in making the plans for Kevin Blanche to go up to see that guy up there, Jeff. He and I wrote back and forth. I paid for the ticket and I never got reimbursed. He, Jeff promised me personally he would reimburse me and did not reimburse me. So those of you that are out there making accusations about me and Kevin Blanche and Ackerman, you don't know the details. And so that's the point here. I'm not going to allow any of that on my video channel. It's completely unnecessary. I'm here because I'm a concerned citizen. I read this book. I read books. This is a book by Dr. John Goffman and Dr. Arthur Tamplin. They were scientists, uh, medical scientists who were hired by the Lawrence, Liberatory, Liver, Lawrence Livermore Laboratory in California to study the effects of radiation on the human body. They did not give the Atomic Energy Commission, which is now the NRC, the answer they wanted. So their, their work was, you know, shuffled away, far away. And so these guys started writing books in an effort to save our country from nuclear power. And guess what? They lost the argument. And now we have Fukushima bleeding into the Pacific Ocean. And the EPA, everybody's saying, don't worry, the Pacific's fine. No, it's not fine. It's also not fine that we have fucking continent-sized trash dumping around, swirling in the in the in the oceans, the Pacific and the Atlantic. Two gigantic. I mean, the UN named them Trashlandia. That's a real story, guys. Trashlandia. The UN named the trash blobs hanging out in the ocean a nation, so they could refer to it as something. That's how big it is, and it's still going. Shipping companies still go out there and dump shit in the middle of the ocean without regard to the environment. This business about profit over people has got to stop. I mean, this is not like, oh, we're gonna, it's the aliens and the lizard people taking over the planet. Fuck that. There's enough human beings. Even if that's the goddamn truth, there's enough human beings on this planet for us to take it back. 
We have power. We have God-given power. We have more power than people realize. And that's the point of oppression and fear. Love is greater than fear, 100%. Now, you can call it the love of God, the love of Jesus, whatever that you need, however you need to frame it, to hang on to it. It doesn't matter because guess what? There's one school of God. That's it. And, you know, when you walk with grace, it's because you're walking with the spirit of the universe. Love is real. We humans have the capacity to love. I believe mammals, all mammals that I know love. My cats love each other. I've seen dogs. You can't tell me in uh, uh, porpoises and whales. They have, you can tell, I can feel them. They have love. So I believe that in fact, I actually believe the trees feel love, to be honest. I believe that all every creature, everything on this planet feels love. I really believe that it's up to us to remind us because we have been oppressed as a people. And so I just want to encourage people in the light of the oppression of the war that's being perpetrated on us by however you want to claim it, Whatever lunatics have perpetrated it, it is actually just war profiteering at the heart of it. And I object, and I understand that we're being propelled, and it's gonna ha it is happening, no matter what. I get it. But I still admonish people to think about love is greater than fear, and to remember that, to remember that it, most people, it's the very few that cause the trouble. So our goal is to live in peace and harmony, to build businesses, to help each other thrive, to help humanity, to help restore our planet, to figure this stuff out and to stop the trash dumping and figure out what to do with the waste that we've done. The consumer waste that we have on our planet is off the charts. You know, we have truckloads of consumer waste that we have just sort of ignored. Oh, well, it's waste. Bink. I compost. <laughs> we recycle a lot here in Eugene. That's not the answer. See, the answer is big. So, uh, again, I encourage you to, like, choose happiness. Happiness is resistance. Love is greater than fear. There's things to be looking forward to. We can grieve and just, there's no reason to live in fear. It's not your neighbors. It's not the strange people coming, living in the neighborhood that are going to harm us. We're living in toxic air, folks. We're breathing radiation levels that used to be illegal that would send off the fucking alarms, but they increased the radiation limits since Fukushima. In 50 years, we're going to see a change. We can't feel it, but you know, many of you do see it and feel it. You're weak. You sleep more. You know, you're getting respiratory problems, you're getting diabetes, you're getting, you know, problems with your body that are manageable, but we're getting affected. We're not just seeing increased cancer rates and heart attacks. We're seeing people being affected. I know I am. I live in Oregon. I know I'm affected. But you know what? There's a lot to be happy about. <laughs> I can still do a lot. And I just encourage people to remember that, you know what, we're part of the universe. I think that we really are part of the intrinsic part of keeping humanity and our planet safe from utter destruction. I don't believe we can give up on our planet and our earth. We ha I believe as humans we have a responsibility to love God's earth. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Ciao, you guys. And I hope you join me. So I think we will create a tsunami that will and it will end that era of seeing humans as assets on a balance sheet and we will we will return to how we as humans have always thrived as units of a community and of each other you know bound by love and you know cultural bonds that we love and adore and so Anyways, I'll end here. That's what I said before, but I will this time. Ciao. I think I will.